Let's just guess the colors. Yellow and purple by putting it on. <laughs> because you can't really put into words a color combination like yellow and purple. You can't really put any of this shit into words, but that's why images are so awesome. So I'm thinking maybe we should just put on the yellow, do that, and then uh, slip on some purple. I'll talk about my new purple raincoat <laughs> that I'm not going to wear today because it's nice out. I'm going to cinch these babies up. <laughs> like Steve Urkel pants are just like... <laughs> Urkel. Alright. Why does it feel weird? Okay. So I'm high water in it right now. the plastic pants pooch up here and none of the rest you probably need to see but I'm going to show you anyway because that's what I do okay. I guess you probably want to see this too so let's move this guy down here oh, my dog likes to watch all this shit too hi right, baby girl I really do like having my pants on the outside, you know. For some reason, I just love to hear the end of the pants slapping right here. It's just, I don't know, but it's nice having them in too. So anyway, that's about that. That's what we're done doing that you know, uh, demonstration. Okay. All right, of course, you're probably gonna wanna see this demonstration. The bag. Okay. Now we're gonna go into uh, the closet. Um, the closet. We're gonna just like I'm gonna pull out this other purple thing I got recently. All right, this is a. <sighs> Granite Storm Gear Conquer the Elements. Um, this coat is, uh, child's coat, child size, uh, but it's extra large uh, for girls, you know, or it can be too extra large, but instead of spending 75 or $80 on it, you get to, because it's a child, you get to spend 35 on it, and of course, the pants, I have the pants that go with this also. But I've had those for a while. I just recently got the jacket. I've had this set before um, and gave it away and uh, just repurchased it. Gave it away to somebody who needed it more than me. I can't imagine that. Somebody that needs a raincoat more than I will need a raincoat. So, if you're wondering what um, I'm going to do today in these beautiful colors, I'm going to just go out in my garden. No need for a raincoat. I need to have, I don't know. So, 
I don't I start touching all this and going outside, so let's uh, move towards the door. I kind of always do this so I don't like, look like Steve Urkel on these. spend some time in the garden yesterday it was uh it actually it was supposed to freeze last night uh, frost warning so i put everything in the uh greenhouse and then of course this morning i took it out so let's go out and just check on everything see how everything's growing This is the new kitty house too. I got a couple new kitties and I built them this little house. That's fun. So these are daisies. They're not ready to come up yet. Of course, these guys are almost done with their season. Oh, tulips, unbelievable. And the smell is magnificent. Everything we wear is inspired by the colors of nature. It's like this yellow right there. I got that fuchsia color. Here's some baby carnations. Uh, I don't know what that is. I just got it because it looked cool and I thought it was a nice backdrop. Of course, there's an elephant with a bunch of arms, you know. Can't live without the one of those in the garden. Now this guy is uh, needs to stay much warmer than the rest of this plant. So when it's going to frost, I have to put this thing inside specifically for this part of the uh, uh, planter. All right, this right here is a hydrangea. My highest scent of all gone now. This is a rhododendron and it flowered <clears throat> already. And when I'm bored, I'll just come out and pick the stuff off, get it ready for its next season. The mums aren't ready to pop yet either, but these are, they seeded. And of course they come back, with they seed in their pot. Nice little lilies here, beautiful. So I got these last year. These are burning bushes, and they were about that tall when I got them. They were bare root, and uh, I don't know if you can see that. Maybe up against this you can, but this one hasn't quite flowered yet. The ones that I repotted, they have uh, not flowered, but got leaves on them. They're coming, actually. Maybe they are getting a little bit there. Anyways, for me, it's exciting to watch this like I never understood watching that grass grow or watching something grow but I just look at that I mean this thing was this you know this big when I got it now it just explodes itself see how it's split right here it's it splits and it explodes and then it'll split again and it just keeps growing and getting thicker and thicker and this has a leaf on it. This one still hasn't leaved. This one's kind of struggling. We've got leaves on half and the other half is just, well, if you can see it, the other half just isn't getting leaves. I'm not sure what's going on there. These keep the cats out of my rose bushes. Rose bush. These are all things that I didn't plant. This just ended up in there, but that's not, this is just a plant that planted itself from seeds falling and different things. Now this beautiful hanging tree is amazing. You can see the canopy there. <clears throat> it's a weeping tree. It's a weeping cherry tree. And it has already had its flowers. And I don't know for how many times it flowers. 
I try not to learn too much about the plant so I can just witness it and not feel like not identify and catalog everything just experience what it's naturally doing with its life <clears throat> now this one's really taking off this is another burning bush that i got it has several little leaves incredible and when some of the flowers break i keep them in a little pot you know keep them this as uh cut flowers until they pass away more mums, not ready to pop yet. This is a weed, but I don't pull too many weeds until I see if it's gonna be super invasive. Does, looks like it might even flower, so I'll just leave it there. We got these guys. These are beautiful, more purple. My garden's gonna be so purple. Another rose bush. No flowers yet, but it's just so exciting to watch it all. <clears throat> this one is a cherry tree. I just got this one. You have to get two if you want them to make fruit and then let the, biz the bees do their business. But the smell and it's unbelievable. There's a big kahuna chair, which I'm not, I don't know what's going on with the and like everybody else has said in the world, I need to clean it out. Gardening tools, gardening crap, Christmas crap, you know. Oh, that's for my crabbing. That's my crabbing pole. Which I haven't used yet because I just haven't had time. Let me see these guys. I go around and look for slugs though. Because the slugs like to, I have no idea, there we go. The slugs like to um, eat holes and everything. I mean, so I go around and pick them off and throw them in other people's yards. Because I can't kill them and if the neighbors don't have plants, then I don't worry about it. But see what the slugs are doing. Like, I need some slug bait with beer. I need the beer slug bait. <clears throat> the second Asia will grow soon. It's starting to come back in there. More tulips. And... I got a rose bush in here, but I don't want the cats to climb in around there <clears throat> and pee in it. So I just keep it covered right now until it gets a little bigger. That's Heather of different colors. More tulips. This is a dogwood, and its leaves have been up for a while, and three or four flowers have come and gone so far this season. This is so fascinating. This is so fascinating. I just watching things grow is like my favorite thing on earth to do. You can't really watch something grow without growing yourself, whether it's people or watching a book grow or watching a plant grow or... This is my Japanese maple. It's freaking beautiful. And another cherry tree. The second one. Because that one... I have no idea why I keep losing, losing focus unless this is on cinematic. Good lord. Fuck. Anyways, there's just plants everywhere. Then my new kitties. I let them go into a different, bigger place. Hi, guys. Hi, kitties. Their little house isn't big enough sometimes, so I let them go in here. Hi, baby kitties. <laughs> you guys need to be inside because I don't want to lose you right now. I'm trying to work in the garden. So you guys just play in the big little playhouse. No. Uh, no, no, not right now. You, you guys have to just stay in your playhouse for now. No. No, 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 no. Wait a minute. Okay, well, I can't throw you fast enough and shut this door. Okay. And then I got this guy. 
Yeah, I'm gonna try to go. I don't know. So. And these guys and the trees. I guess we already looked at all this stuff. Hi, my baby kitty. Oh, hi, the baby kitty. Hi, the baby kitties. Hello. Hi, the baby kitties. Baby kitty, let me have you. Oh, let me have you. Oh, these are baby kitties. Oh. Okay, you can lay back down on your little mat. Okay, okay. Look at baby kitties. Oh, hi. Okay. I had this great idea. Ah, uh, but first I'm gonna pet my lashes. Gotta pet them. Okay. <laughs>